I guess you're the pioneer. The pioneer award's going to you. Thank God I'm not that old. Dan Dudley was born in 1938. He attended Calvert Hall Catholic High School, which, at the age of 14, is where he met his high school sweetheart and future wife, Eleanor. Dan always loved playing and coaching sports at Baltimore County Parks. An added bonus was that Eleanor was a cheerleader for the Baltimore Colts during their Johnny Unitas-led championship years of 1958 and 1959. Dan began his career in 1972 with the Maryland Department of Labor, inspecting cranes and elevators. Dan says the communication was poor between ride operators and state inspectors at the time. He recalls the early days of area safety seminars. I went to places like Wichita and Greenville to learn more about rides. The manufacturers came together to teach carnival and park workers about safety. Inspectors went too. I met Jerry Barber and he told me the inspectors sure didn't know much about amusement rides. Why, I could have punched him. But he was right. We didn't know anything. So we learned. I then met Red Wood. He said, Dan, you buy the beer and I will train you. I learned and Richard Coulter asked me to teach at the seminars too. Wayne Coons taught Dan to inspect a sky wheel and lucky he did. Upon arrival in Tampa the next spring, the fair had four sky wheels lined up in a row, but one of them was missing the wind braces. They were left behind at the winter quarters. He told them to go home and get them as they are required. Dan says it was never his wish to close up or red tag a ride and that he always wanted a problem to be resolved so that the customers can enjoy the ride. But safety always comes first. Dan served in the National Guard for 20 years while he took on pioneering positions with dozens within the industry. His relationships with the show people like Irvin and Al Degler, Chuck Bodle and Larry Wisdom were invaluable. Dan was the second president of NARSO and is skilled communicating with the press. Fair boards appreciate his ability to discuss issues with the media because he just knows what he is talking about. Not only a personal thank you from myself, but also from your good friends at NARSO and throughout the industry. Dan's been a wonderful person to the industry. He's been a great trainer. He's been someone that helped not only teach myself, but hundreds of inspectors in our industry. Dan says the industry has come a long way since 1972. The rides are higher, faster, and more complex, but it's a very safe industry because of the wonderful people. He says the most important person is the button pusher. Their work is hard. The industry is finally starting to really address the needs of our great ride operators. We are training them better, reducing hours, providing nice uniforms, a good place to sleep, and treat them like real people so they can feel good about themselves. One of Dan's favorite stories was when he was washing his clothes at the Texas State Fair laundromat and he got called away to do an inspection. When he returned, his clothes were dried and folded and placed neatly in a basket. A ride operator for Danny England took care of it and refused to be paid because she said, we love you, Dan. He just cried. Dan also cried when he said goodbye to Red Wood in the hospital. After a career of fixing equipment problems, Red told Dan he finally came up against something he couldn't fix. Dan and Eleanor have four children, all boys, as well as 13 grandchildren and one great-grandchild. Sons Dan and Brian work for Otis Elevator and do some ride inspection work too. Eleanor has a bracelet with a charm from each of the 45 states Dan has worked as an inspector. The outdoor amusement industry has presented Dan with opportunity, challenge, and a love of the industry. Dan, at the age of 77, still works full time. So once again, Dan, thank you for all you've done. You're very much deserving of this award. Congratulations. Congratulations. Wish I could be there in person. 
However, I'll be out in uh, Portland setting up the uh, safety seminar there for the Northwest Showman's Club Safety Seminar. Good luck, congratulations, and keep it safe. Today, he is inducted as the Outdoor Amusement Business Association Pioneer Award winner.